The home run was just barely to the right of center field, but it was pretty much center field. Uh, it was probably about a 415-foot shot because it is about 400 to the fence there, so maybe 420. But when he pulls a ball, we've seen it go a mile. Now you see a home run to center field, and the wind was blowing out to right center field, but that was a home run. I mean, when he hit it, you knew it, and especially uh, the way the wind was blowing yesterday. And here's my tease, and I know my tease is why not the MVP this year, and I know it's just spring training, and, and I keep telling myself, Mike, it's just spring training. It's just spring training, and last year, it was just a small sample size in the minor leagues. Mike, it was just a small sample size in the minor leagues, but... What is slowing him down? What is what is giving him issues? Now, he has struck out 12 times in 13 games. So, that's not great. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to guys throwing it back to you. I'm trying to find reasons to slow down on why I think Wyatt Langford isn't going to be one of the best players in baseball. Okay. Uh here are my reasons and Mike, a lot of this comes from listening to you. Uh, I think he'll figure things out eventually, but I do think pitchers will find a place where they're like, okay, this is where we can expose him. There's just so little known about him against big league pitchers. And as you, as you know, the big league pitchers are the best. Uh, that's why Jack Leiter isn't quite there yet. He's not the best yet. And those guys will get him. And so in those tough situations, it might be a lot of learning curve for him, but he's going to swing. And if he sees a strike, that's a strike that... He can hit. When he gets a hold of it, it's good. So I think there's just going to be that learning curve for, for a period once somebody gets a hold of the book on him. Man, Mike, you're going to love this. With the 469, I put $100 down on Langford to win MVP at 250 to 1. That's a 25K cash right there. I mean, it's going to be very tough. To be a Fair. rookie and win rookie of the year is going to be very tough. My first year in the mm -hmm. major leagues, it Ichiro did it, but he was 27 years old after being a multi-time MVP in Japan. So i got to close it. it when, okay, here we go. The blowing is happening And yes, now. we did correct that to MVP because, Mike, initially you said to be a rookie and win rookie of the year is going to be very and, tough. I would argue MVP. that is the main component you need to win yes, that award. Yes, but and to be MVP. Ichiro did it in 2001 where he won rookie of the year and MVP, but... He was 27 years old, so I'm looking at Wyatt Lankford, and yesterday he faced Alexis Diaz. He came in in, I'm guessing, the fourth inning. I'm, you know, I'm getting my innings, but it was early on. He's the closer for Cincinnati at 37 saves last year. He was an all-star. He was great, and he struck him out on a 3-2 slider that was probably off the plate, but it was such a great pitch. To not swing at that pitch is almost impossible. It was probably like two, three inches off the plate. I have to give the pitcher credit. He made a great 3-2 pitch. Uh, and he's a he's an all-star closer. So is Wyatt Langford going to bat 400? No, he's not. Maybe he only bats 250. Maybe he only bats 260. But I think he can bat 300. Because his swing, even on that slider, was still a strong swing, if that makes sense. He tried to go out and get it. But I never see him so far make a contact swing and what i mean by that is i'm just going to try to put it in play yeah and and he he might be he might miss the ball but he still looks on time later in the game he he might have struck out it was against a, a guy named cruz and he threw a first pitch breaking ball and it was in the dirt behind home plate and he swung at it so you know what cruz did the smart thing on 2-2 what did he do he threw the exact same pitch Wyatt Langford took it for ball three. To me, that is such maturity. Yeah, that's the great. The pitcher did the right thing. To your point, there's not going to be a scouting report on Wyatt Langford for the first month of the season, except he's young, he's powerful, he's dangerous, he can hit home runs from foul pole to foul pole. Yeah. Let's see what his discipline is like. And here's the other thing, too. To start the year, most likely, Evan Carter is going to be batting second, and Adolis Garcia is going to be batting fourth. He's protected. When the season progresses, if he stays batting third, Corey Seager is going to be batting second. I think it will be Adolis Garcia batting fourth, and then Evan Carter will be batting fifth, and Josh Young will be batting sixth. He's going to get pitches to see. It's not like, hey, let's pitch around him and get to Adolis Garcia. Right. Like it's it's a little bit tough 
Maybe you do. Maybe at some point in the season you say, "What you know what? Walk them, and let's go to Adolis Garcia and Evan Carter and see if we're more successful there. But there's so much protection, and this lineup is so deep and so great that I think he's going to have so many RBI opportunities with Simeon and Seager a lot of the season batting in front of him. To start the year, it'll probably be Simeon and Carter batting in front of him. I'm just watching his approach at the plate, and it's not a college kid's approach. Yes, he's aggressive. Yes, he might swing at some balls. But then he makes a quick adjustment. The same pitcher says, I'm going to throw that same pitch he swung at four or five pitches later. I'm saving it. So in your head as a pitcher, what you're doing is, all right, he swung at that one. Am I going to throw it immediately again? You can think, well, maybe I'll just throw it immediately again, and maybe I'll get a swing and miss again. And I will tell you, when you're in A ball, a lot of times when you see a guy swing at that pitch, you can throw it two more times, and they're going to swing at it two more times, and you have a strikeout. Double A, it starts getting a little bit more difficult for those guys to advance. The guys that will swing at the same bad pitch over and over and over again in the same at bat, usually they don't make it up to double A. Sometimes they do, but usually they don't. So here it is. He swung at it. So instead of repeating that pitch, what the Cincinnati Reds catcher and pitcher decided, save it. We're going to save it for our putout pitch. Remember, he swung at it. Four pitches later, we're going to throw that pitch. And then he doesn't swing at it. Now, he did th- he did strike out Evan Carter, and he struck him out on a fastball. And it was after throwing something slow. Now I'm going to change the the speed of the pitch, and I'm going to change the location of the pitch. It was a well-executed pitch. He struck out. Wyatt Langford's not going to be perfect. But watching Wyatt Langford yesterday, he has all the ability in the world. This is crazy I'm saying this. He does have what it looks like to me when I saw Mike Trout for the oh my first time in 2011. And then in 2012, he lost, he lost the MVP. He finished second in MVP his rookie year because – Miguel Cabrera hit for uh, the Triple Crown. And if you don't know what the Triple Crown is, that's leading the league, your American League or National League. It's leading your league in batting average home runs and RBIs. And Mike Trout finished second in MVP voting. So I'm not saying White Langford is going to win the MVP. And I hate saying this because uh, if I have this correct, Mike Trout won three MVPs so far, right. and he's finished in the top three four other times, so second or third. So seven times in his career, he's finished in the top three, three times winning the award. I'm watching Wyatt Lankford, and I'm thinking to myself, why isn't he the next Mike Trout? Man. I uh, hate – that's so, mu- that's so no, crazy to say. Don't hate it, Mike. Embrace it probably it. won't happen. Mike Trout's going to go down as one of the top 25 greatest baseball players in baseball. And it looked like he was going to trend towards top 10. I just don't know health-wise now if he's going to get to where we thought he was going to be three or four years ago. But Wyatt Lankford, to me, looks like the next superstar in Major League Baseball. That's very tough to accomplish. But everything is looking like he's going to be one of the next superstars of this game.